because F Smash is the strongest in the game. And even though, like, oh, you never get hit by F Smash, <laughs> I've seen it happen. One super hard read. Oh, <gasps> but we should talk about the difficulties that DDD is going to have in this matchup. For one of them, uh, a lot of Pikachu's Thunder Jolts are going to be knocking away the, uh, the Gordos. However, that fair and neutral air, I believe, because uh, you need a certain threshold, I think it's 2% in order to send the Gordo back. Uh, it's He can't just, his normal moves that he likes to throw out neutral, that being forward air, back air, neutral air, they're not actually going to beat up the Gordo. So, Trulago will have to do a little bit preemptive. Yeah, you saw, see him throwing out a lot of T-Jolts. On the one hand, it can help him with his uh, approaches, but also it can just shut down any Gordo throw that might happen. That being said, I'm liking that TFO has uh, actually been using a lot of verticality where, you know, Trulago's not necessarily been forced to, but he has opted for a lot of these T-Jolts. Good thing in the matchup, but T-Jolts only cover the ground. Oh, and now this is a super dangerous position for Drilago. He gets down smash. That is one of the super strengths of DDD, his ledge trapping. And, you know, normally Pikachu can get off ledge for free because of his upbeat. However, because uh, ooh, because when DDD does his ledge traps, he throws out Gordo, which is a super long-lasting hitbox, you can't, Pikachu can't really upbeat through it. He'll have to upbeat around it, which... A longer route means that it could be inter it's a lot easier uh, to be intercepted. Drilago right, now, 52%. Oh, finally ends things with a dash attack. That is, for Pikachu, he can struggle to kill. However, he has a burst option that eventually does kill. Okay, yeah, those short hop up airs from uh, Pikachu. Surprisingly good option, especially if you're trying to anti-air an opponent. DD loves to be full hopping in neutral, as you can see. Already 53%, 66, and possibly growing. Stop at the legend. Once again, the Gordo actually saving him right there. Oh, I did not know that Upbeat reflects Gordo, but, uh, yeah, Drilago has to find a better way to get off uh, the ledge. And it's hard. If you've never fought against DDD before, you're like, what do I do? It feels like you cover so many options. However, uh, for one thing, those platforms on the side can be a huge help to him, possibly. Uh, <laughs> Especially because if, if DDD wants to cover all these options, he's going to be charging a down smash, which means that, like, Drop from ledge, uh, up B2, the platform might not be the worst option in the world if uh, that's not going to kill, though. DDD is a kick boy. That's big, that's huge. Because the... Although, you know, TFO is kind of, not even really at death percent. And before, it took Drago quite a while to take the stop. Oh, late dash attack. Not going to kill. And also, that means that dash attack is a little bit stale now. Probably another dash attack. Even if he has rage, won't do it. Okay. How is Drilago actually going to get the kill here? Finding that F smash. Actually, Ninjing to still catch the roll. And now we have a super even game here. TFO, it feels like he's been ahead the entire game. Even when he gets hit by these low percent combos, it never seems to get out of his control. Can Drilago really manage to just dictate the pace of the match, completely overwhelm TFO? That kind of is what is demanded of Pikachu in this matchup. TFO trying to go for some pressure on Drilago, but just Drilago just waiting all of it out. Finds a punish, and now 99% on TFO. He's not going to die to too many things. Oh, but Thunder, even that's not enough. 106, 137 rather, but uh, Drilago is looking pretty healthy, only at 55. That being said, if he gets put in another, if he gets hit once, put on, on the ledge, and then, okay, good stuff. That's only game one. Finally, TFO dropping Drilago is going to be going up 1-0 in the set.
Hey, how's it going, Mile? I see you in the chat. I don't know if it's good form to make fun of uh, Drill while we're commentating. While I'm commentating, I certainly have a lot of fun with it. But the match, honestly, so far it's been pretty hype. Been pretty close. I see no need to make a joke of it because these guys clearly are taking things very seriously. We have a counter pick to Kalos. I agree with this um, for the most part. Uh, I agree with it because at least it feels like Delago has been getting a lot of kills off the top. Like, you know, with that dash attack. I think it has been killing. Just wider blast zones in general are going to help out. Um, ooh, ooh. However, one of the downsides to this stage is that a lot of it is the is basically FD. Yeah, you have the platforms at the ledge, and I'll get on to that in a second. But Pikachu's neutral is one of the best in the game. And when you have no platforms, when you just have, uh, you know, you have to contest with Pikachu, oh, it can be really difficult. Wow, great catch right there. The second Thunder Jolt lasting... Catching his uh, neutral getup, comboing into an F-Smash. Drill looking really good in this match right now. 104% on his body, not the end of the world for him, especially because one of those low percent combos can lead to so much damage. Actually, I think this is the first time he's taken a stock lead. Most of the time, uh, TFO has always been one step ahead. Granted, Drill did win that last game, but oh wow, because the last hit of the forward air connected on that. It actually managed to reflect it and it comboed into the hit. That's a lot of damage right now. 92% and it's just growing. TFO just throwing out these moves, throwing out forward as trying to intercept Drill. Maybe, you know, trying to catch him on those Thunder Jolts right there, timing it so well. Gordo going to take the stock. Now, oh, this is the sort of situation where, yeah, okay, Drill, Drill feels like he's at a low enough percent that he's comfortable throwing out kill moves. Uh, which I don't necessarily disagree with. Uh, when you're ahead by this much, how you uh, how you lose is you can't take the stock. So while you have a little bit of liberty to throw out, yeah, things like F smash, things like the down B, I'd say, you know, go for it. Once you get to about 50, I'd say calm down. Mainly because at that point, getting hit means that it puts you off stage in a really bad position. Yeah, so now we're starting to see that. 69%. Drill looking pretty nice, but he needs to take this stock. I'm liking the disadvantage from TFO. Opting to go really high. Those t jolts have been such a thorn in his side, and he's deciding just to climb over that thorn bush. Just... He has the ability to fly. He's not even bothering. And now, oh, that means that Drill is really struggling to find the kill. Down smash, the back hit, not enough. But now he's at 114% and things are looking really scary. The DBZ trade, but... As it stands, neither one of them have dropped yet. Finally, dash attack, gonna connect. That's Drill up a stock. Let's see if he can do anything with it. He is much closer to Death Store than last time around. And right as I say that, rolls into the down smash. <coughs> TFO managing to keep things super even here. Oh, I... <laughs> Most brilliant approach option in the world? Getting sniped. He doesn't have a jump. And that means that oh, throwing out another side, he gets him hit once more. Even though this was TFO's counter pick, the fact that Drill can just throw out T jolts while he's recovering really, really hurts him. As I'm saying that. TFO is in the lead here, looking pretty comfortable, and Drill opting... Oh, right as I said that, I was going to say he's not... Unfortunate. Goes for that up B and just kind of whips, shaking his head, looking commentator in the eye. Felt like he had that game. He was up, up, up. But in the end, TFO manages to keep the gap basically neck and neck. And then a really bad technical flub from Delago. They're 1-1. We're going to game three between these two.
Pikachu. Joe, looking pretty disappointed, but you know, you have a game three to work with, and it felt like, it feels like he's starting to get a handle on the matchup. Unless, did I see correctly, did he pick a stage that doesn't... Honestly, I think that Kalos was a fine, fine uh, stage to stick with. The real thing that he was getting killed by was being put on the ledge and like, getting ledge trapped. And the fact that Kalos has uh, those, oops, okay. um, the fact that Kalos has the walls that the Cheetos can just ride up on, that was huge for him. And yes, he ended up losing that game, but that was basically by a technical flub on his part. I think that that stage was really good for him. And as we're seeing it right now, oh, he's at 73%. But at the very least, now let's see if TFO can take advantage of not having as many T-Jolts messing with his ledge traps. Wow, the long-lasting hit on that forward smash. That still traded? Excuse me? <laughs> Pikachu forward smash is a little silly. That up to where thing pretty big for Drill. 140% on to TFO. There are things that can take a stock right now. Possibly a dash attack if he's on one, um, closer to one side of the stage than the other. But right as I say that, the forward air intercepting him. TFO in a really good position. He's actually still alive without the rage from that uh, previous stock. Drill can't actually take the stock, but right there. Reflecting that Gordo, huge for him. Now we're neck and neck once more. Oh, look at all of this damage, though. Can he get on the platform for reset? Oh, goes for a T-Jolt right there. I don't think he was expecting TFO to land on the platform. That could have been huge damage for him. As we're seeing it right now, oh. TF put at the corner. Drill's ledge trapping has been so much cleaner in this game three. Let's see if he can make it out of there. A bit of an aggressive option, but uh, questionable, but works out. Drops shield at the worst possible moment. Drill is not, I feel like there are a bunch of shield grabs here that he could be going for. I know that Pikachu's standing grab is not the greatest, but even so, up tilt is very lag. You could drop shield and F tilt. Uh, just jump neutral air, jump forward air probably in those situations. So Drill needs to go in for cleaner out of shield punishes. Oh. Yeah, no, I, it's easier to do the side B. You know, you don't have to worry about messing up your angles. But Pikachu up B is notorious for being hard to deal with. Whereas that side B, I mean, you just saw TFO murdered it with that, uh, with the dash attack. TFO has been kind of on the back foot for the better part of a minute here. Ooh, 113% and he just has not managed to find a way out of the corner. Uh, oh, what interesting. That, a little bit confusing that interaction. I guess the Thunder did not reflect the Gordo. Is that it? Oh my god, 126%. But the survivability TFO is going to be moving on.